to talk a little bit more about uh, base conversion. Let's say going from base 10 to some other base. Um, and if you haven't looked at this uh, video right here, this YouTube video that I posted uh, previously, you might want to take a look at it because I talk in there a bit about the theory uh, behind uh, converting from base 10 to, uh, to base 2, for instance. And let me uh, review a bit of that, and then I'll talk about how we might convert to other bases and how we have to teach, uh, treat uh, integers uh, differently than fractions. So uh, to begin this, just suppose that I have uh, an integer. Let's say the integer is the number 10, which I'll put right there. And um, if I want to convert to 10 to a base, now let me write down here, let me let me rewrite this just a little bit. Let's say um, integer decimal and that doesn't quite fit all in that block. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to merge these two blocks and I do that right. Uh, I hate it when that happens. I do it, okay, there I go to format, cells, uh, alignment, merge cells, okay, and that merges them. So I'll put integer decimal and then uh, equal and then I want to move all this text over to the right side I'll do that by going um, to my uh, alignment format menu and first I click on this, then I click on this, and that moves it all the right side. So th this and then in this cell, I'll put the integer that I want to work with. And like I said, let's, well, let's make it something a little bit more interesting than 10. Let's say 101, 101. Now what I wanted to here is put uh, base um, of new, so whatever a base I want to convert it to, base of new equal to. Again, let me merge these two cells like this. Click here, so I uh, select them, format cells, uh, merge cells, OK, and then I'll move that over to the right like that. And let's say I want to go, uh, what I say, um, base 5. Let me do, yeah, base 5, base 5. So this is what I want to do there. So this is my new base, and I'll hit return. So, so what I want to do then is convert the number 101 in decimal uh, to base 5. And this is an integer. And like I said, how I treat integers and how I treat fractions is a little bit different. Okay, now I'm going to do those calculations right along these two rows. Now the first thing I want to do, uh, whenever I'm doing a conversion to a new base, I want to do two calculations. One is I want to take 101 and divide by the base, or in this case 5, and I just want to take the integer part of that, or the quotient if you like. So I'm doing equals uh, integer, and then I'll do this number, uh, divided by this number, close paren, hit equal. Now here I want to do the remainder of the division. So I take 101 divided by 5. Well, I think it's pretty clear just looking at it. We do 5 into 101. The remainder is going to be 1 because 5 divides evenly into 100. So I do that with, a, with what's called the modular operation equals mod and then I'll do one, uh, then I'll, no, let me not write 101, let me write what this number is here, there, this cell, that, and then when they do the modular, we do comma, five, just like that, and then equal. Okay, so we got 20 is the quotient, one is the remainder. Now, it turns out that these remainders that we're going to generate down here uh, will turn out to be our number modulo 5. So we're always going to be looking, uh, we're always going to be taking our number dividing by 5 and looking at the remainder. So I take 101, divide by 5, the remainder is 1. Now I want to take this new number 20. So I want to do 20 divided by 5. 
And I'll do that just by, I think I can get that just by taking this thing and dragging it over like that. Oh, it doesn't like it. Now, why doesn't it like it? I'm taking um, 01, which is uh, this number, um, dividing it by 02 here. Let's see, what do we have here? This is 01 divided by 02. And this is, oh, this is P1 divided by P2, and there's nothing there. Okay, so um, now it turns out this is something that Excel does automatically for us, and usually it's convenient. But in this case, I actually don't want the, the, the nothings that are in the, in the P column. Uh, what I want to do is use uh, the 20 from the previous column. So... Here, let me just here go up here and let me just uh, get rid of that here. Beep, 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 there. So what I want to do is integer this number, and um, that didn't work out right either. Here, let me just grab here equals int open this number, which is M3, right? M3. And I want to divide that uh, by 5. And I always want to divide it by 5, the number that's right here. So what I really want it now is I want to divide. I want to divide it by 5, but all the way down here, I still want to be dividing by 5. I don't want it as I slide, as I drag across, I don't want to be changing it to what's in this cell, what's in that cell, what's in that cell. So in order to keep the cell from changing, I put a dollar sign in front of the O. That keeps the O from changing. And then I put a dollar sign in front of the 2, and that will keep the 2 from changing. And now I will close parentheses, and I... I try let me try that again close parentheses and then hit return now what what oh it's still not doing something right oh got 20 instead of uh, two so let me get rid of that zero there there so I do now I'm taking 20 divided by five which is four and I know that the remainder of that's going to be zero so I put equal mod open paren, 20, comma, and now I want what's in this cell, but I don't want it to change. I want to keep it. There, dollar sign, dollar sign, and then close paren, return. So the remainder is zero. Okay, now I have this number. Okay, so now I can drag these two cells over. And I sh hopefully will be right. And I get um, 4 divided by 5 is 0 with remainder 4. I'll drag these two over. And now I got 0, 0. So that's the end. So my number, is it the end? Yeah. So my number in base 5 is the list of these numbers backwards. Okay, so it's, this, it's going to be um, 4, 0, 1. 4, 0, 1. So that's going to be what my number is, um, uh, my 101 base 5. Now let's see if that makes sense. Uh, the units place is still a unit. It doesn't change no matter the base. So this is 1. The second place, well, in decimal, the second place is tens. The third place is hundreds. In base 5, the second place is 5. And this is 25s. So 4 25s is 100, plus 1 is 101. So that's exactly what I want it to be. Now, I just read this backwards and wrote that down. If I want to um, uh, write that down automatically, I have to use the kind of weird function here. 
and let me do that. A, a weird function in Excel is called concatenate. Concatenate. Hope I spelled that well because I'm not a good speller. Um, and now I want to list the numbers that I want to concatenate. Four zero one. Uh, now I necessarily generally wouldn't know that it ends at four, so I might add all of these out here. For example, here let me just extend those out. I extend those out to t, and they're all zero. So I might then concatenate um, these numbers backwards. I'll assume here I start. I have zero, so I concatenate this. I'm not in the concatenate anymore, am I? Yeah, concatenate there. So I want to concatenate this comma. Well, what's what what now? What's going on? I want to be here and you know it. Uh, God never intended me to have these many problems. Okay, now I'm back here to this. Now I'm back to concatenate. So what I want to do is put a number right in there. So what I do is click here. Concatenate. Maybe I'll have to write it in. So I want to concatenate uh, T4. This is T4, right? I want to do T T four comma. And then I want to do S four I don't know why this is not working out for me. S4, comma, R4, comma, Q4, comma, P4, four, comma, O four comma N four and M four. And now I want to close paren and I know why I was having problems because I didn't have an equal sign in front there. Now I hit return and then 401 is indeed my number in base 5. A bit annoying that I have all these leading zeros. So I might want to try to figure out a way of getting rid of those zeros. And, and, and actually, there is a way to do it. Um, and, um, but I'm, I'm not going to talk about that right now. But uh, we have that are then in base 5, the number 101 goes to 401. Now, how about if we have a fraction? Okay, so let's talk about fraction decimal. So that's what I'm going to do next here. I'll merge these two cells, format cells, merge cells, and I'll call this a fraction decimal. Equals return. And um, for the base, I'm just going to use the same base I have from up here, okay? So let's pick a fraction decimal um, over here. We'll put it, uh, let's move everything in the cell over to the right side of the cell. I go here and I can click on that there. And then, uh, so my base is still going to be five. I'm going to use the same base. And let's say my fraction decimal here is. Um, uh, Point one oh one. Now we know with um, fractions 
that um, this represents one tenth, this is, represents one one hundredth, and this represents one one thousandth. Now we want to turn it to base five, and when we have a number in base five, this would be one fifth, one twenty fifths, and one one hundred and twenty fifth in base five. So I want to convert this fraction in decimal to a fraction of base five. I do something similar to what I did with the uh, uh, with the integer, but instead of dividing. I'm going to multiply. So here I divided and took the integer part, then divided and took the integer part, then divided and took the integer part. Okay, here I'm going to multiply and take the integer part. Again, I multiply by the base. So let's let me do that. I'm going to do uh, equals uh, this number uh, times base 5, okay, and I want to take the integer part, and so I put integer, int, open paren, close paren, and at, I multiply this by 5, it just becomes 0.505, right? Because 0.505, and I take the integer part, and I have a 0. Okay, now um, let me um, then uh, do do the multiplication, and I'm going to move the integer part down here. I think that might give me make it easier for me to do what I want. So I'm going to take the integer thing off of here, and then hit return. That gives me 505. And then this, I'm going to put equals integer of what's up here, and then close like that. So that gives me the zero. Okay. Now, what I would normally do, and this, this, it's not complicated, but it's confusing, as uh, I characterize many things in, in mathematics. Uh, what I want to do is take this minus the integer part, giving me a pure fraction again. In this case, I'm subtracting 0, but let me just uh, let me just do it. So this is equal to, open paren, uh, this minus this, just like that, close paren, return, which is still 505. Now, again, I'm going to take the integer part of this. Integer, I forgot to write the equal. That gives me problems. Uh, how do I get plus? Equal integer of this close paren return. Still got zero. Okay, so this is going to be my, my uh, now I have, um, oh, I, one thing I forgot to do, by the way, that I was supposed to do right here is multiply this thing by five. Well, let me do that. Times the base, 5. Now, I want it always to be 5 here. So in order to make it sure that it's always 5, I'm going to do a dollar sign and a dollar sign. There, just like that. Now the integer part is 2. So here, I just did what was in O2. It's okay. Take uh, take the integer part 0. Now I multiply by 5 again, take the integer part as 2. Now I want to take this number, subtract the 2, equals, open paren, this number, subtract this number. Divide by, again, 5. This number, which is going to, I'm going to put dollar signs again. Dollar and dollar here in front of the 2. Like that. Return. Okay, now, and then, well, you know, 
one thing I could do is I could just drag these two things over just like this. That should work now. So take this, subtract the two, multiply by five. I get this number. Take the integer part. I get another two. And let's go all the way over like that. So now this, um, this is going to give me in correct order. This gives me what my decimal is. So, the, or actually, it's not a decimal now because it's base five. Uh, we call it instead of a decimal point, we call it the radix point. I guess you could call it the base point. It's, um, so the uh, so we do point zero two two three zero three zero and so on. And this potentially this can go on forever. We could have uh, a number that never terminates. Now. Let me use the concatenate function again to put this all together. Equal concatenate. And then here I'm going to I want to put a decimal point in there. So let me, this is how I'm going to put the decimal point in there. I'm going to put a quotation mark, a decimal, quotation mark, and now a comma. Okay, and then I put this comma 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 and then I would keep on going uh, if I wanted to with going on with this and I hit return so this point 101 now looks like point two two three oh three oh okay now how can we check to see if, if that is about right. Now I said that this uh, this number, this fraction, could go on forever, just like you have uh, decimal fractions that go on forever, right? One third is 0.33333 on forever. Two thirds, 0.66666 on forever, and so on. Now um, to um, uh, to check that what we have to do is take uh, the first digit here which will multiply by one-fifth. There are no one-fifths. So we're going to do this is uh, equal to uh, so this is one-fifth, one-twenty-fifth, one-one-hundred-and-twenty-five, one-six-hundred-and-twenty-five, and so on. So let's just use these first four numbers and check it out. So I'm going to write it in here and check it out. So this is going to equal um, two times uh, 125. I'll just say two divided by 25. Two divided by 25 plus two divided by 125. Two divided by 125 plus 3 divided by 625, 3 divided by 625, I hope I'm doing this right, and this should approximately equal, uh, because, but I'm not going all the way out uh, on this fraction here, uh, but this should be uh, uh, converging in on point 101 as a decimal. So let's see what we get at point 1008. So if we rounded it to three places, we would have 0.101. Okay, so that then is an example of how in base 5, we can take a number in base 5, we break it into two parts, into its integer part and into its fraction decimal part, and we convert each one using a slightly different method. So in base 5, our number would be 401.1008 approximately. Okay, so uh, that's enough uh, for now. Uh, we'll do another video.